Hello guys and welcome back to the Field Gamers channel and as you can see from the title of this video I will be doing a furniture series with couches and chairs. This is going to be the first of um, a series that I'll be doing with my interior home design which I told you I would be doing soon. And what I'll be doing, basically here's an outline of what I'll be doing, is I'm going to start off with furniture and I'm going to try to give you guys a very wide uh, variety of furniture starting with couches and chairs and my next video will probably be probably be this sign says yeah tables and desks and then I'll keep going until I I feel like you've guys got a comfortable um, idea of a lot of different furniture ideas and then as soon as I get done with furniture ideas I will go ahead and apply those furniture ideas and show you guys how to um, make different room ideas kitchen ideas bathroom ideas living room ideas all kinds of good stuff depending on what you guys want you guys can request if you guys can think of anything else but I'm gonna go ahead and start with furniture ideas so let's go ahead and get started with couches and chairs so as you can see this is a very basic couch most people know already know how to use this um, but you can you what I like to do is I like to use the dark wood for stairs because it looks more um, I, I would say it looks more I don't know, furniture kind of I guess it looks better and then you can use the signs for armrests or you can use picture frames which most people don't actually realize you can do as long as they're the same on both sides so it looks symmetrical you can use picture frames and this looks more this looks more like a couch this looks more like a, a church pew like a, a pew that you would see in a church or something like that so for a home I would usually prefer this but this is also another option or you can have nothing on it and just have the stairs have a very plain very plain seat so over here uh, this is a very very simple as well instead of using stairs you use half slabs and then you can just put signs on on all sides to make it a uh, backrest or you can get rid of the signs on the side like this and just have it like that as well that works too or you can choose signs on the side and have picture frames on the back like that and I, I honestly this is probably one of my favorites so because it just it, it's a very good combination it actually looks like a, a good seat so and then over here, this is uh, I use this a lot in my my home designs, and this kind of gives you an idea of more of a a poofy couch. So it looks like you can just like sit in it and sink into it, more of a a couch that you would want to sit in because it looks comfortable. Whereas these couches over here look more um, hard. They look like you wouldn't want to lounge in them and watch TV. Where this one looks like you could just enjoy yourself and get comfortable. Just these are just wool blocks and then half slabs. And I use stone half slabs because it looks the best. And then we have this, which is a little better than the one I just showed you. And what I did here is what you do is you have four um, of the dark wood blocks in the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these so you can see that these are half slabs. And then you use stairs on each side like this. And then it gives you the armrest effect. And instead of the armrest like over here, the armrest is a full block. The armrest is only half of a full block. So it looks a little more um, realistic because couches armrests aren't usually as wide. So depending on which one you prefer, you can do that one or this one. They're very similar except the stair step. You have to use all the same material with stairs. So you're limited, but I think this looks really good. And then this is basically just the same as the, uh, the one I just showed you over there, except you can add it, you can make a L shape with it. And usually when I do something like this, to make it more modern looking, I use an armrest on this side, and then the side that's protruding towards you, I keep I keep it just simple. I don't put an armrest there, so it just ends. And I think that looks better. You don't have to. You can add an armrest there if you want. That's completely your decision, but this is just how I like to use it. And then over here, this is uh, more of a... I, would, I haven't used this yet, ever, but I'm probably going to use this in my next modern home, in my modern home series. And basically, it's two stone slabs right here. Then I'll go ahead and actually, yeah, then it's three stone slabs off the ground in the back. So here's two full blocks and then a half block on top of those full blocks to give you a, you know, so it lifts off the ground a little higher. So it's actually more of a chair like idea. And then for the, the sides, I'll go ahead and show you how these are made. I just, if you put a stair on like that, it'll be upright. But if you click the top half of the block, it'll be upside down. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing right here. Click the top half of that, get rid of it. And then you have these really cool looking armrests. 
and I really like that look. It looks really contemporary, I guess you could say, modern, contemporary look. So that's that's an option you can do for a couch. And then the last couch idea that I have is, I just threw this one together real quick. Not really one of my favorites, but it's an option you can use. I used pistons, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. You build two blocks down, one, two, and put a redstone torch on the bottom, and you put a, to a piston on the second block up. And then the redstone torch pushes the piston up, makes it look like a bench. Now, I don't really like this because it's so high off the ground. I usually use pistons for tables, which I'll show you in my next video. But you can also do it like this. And then I use stairs for the back um, to create the, the signs that come out right there. So it looks really good. So, okay, let's go back to the beginning. And let's start with the chairs right over here. Okay. So for the stairs, very, very basic. I'm not going to go into much detail with these because I basically just a repeat of the couches. Stair with a sign or stair with the picture frame. I already showed you that though. Then over here, you can do the same thing. Half slab with signs or half slab with one sign on the back or you can have um actually no yeah i'll show you that in a minute so yeah just one half slab or one sign on the back of the half slab then these these are different if you if you go into like a very nice looking home well where they have a dining room these are more like dining room chairs more for looks rather than sitting in and what I, what I used is a half slab with two signs on each side of it and then a door to make it look like it's a really high back. But to be honest, I don't really like this look too much because you have a door handle there and a window on the top. It kind of looks silly, but depending on what texture pack you're using, sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. For me, I don't really like it, but for you, maybe it works better. I'm not sure. But it's, it's an idea. It gives you that, that look, so it looks like a dining room table, which you would see in more of like a president presidential uh, suite or room, dining room area looking, kind of looking thing. And then this one, this one looks kind of funny. I don't, I've never used this one, but it's an idea for if you want to use it. It's supposed to kind of give you the idea that you have two legs in the back, two legs in the front, and then the back of your chair. But again, it's too high off the ground for my, for my liking. Then you got this, you can use all paintings on all sides with a half slab, or you can do the signs on both sides and then the picture on the back, which I showed you the same thing with the couches. Same thing, nothing new here. Now, this is these are chair ideas for if, you're, um, if, you're, if your floor are made of half slabs. This only works if your floor is made of half slabs. Because what you can do is, I'm going to go and ruin this real quick. If you have a half slab off the ground and you put a wool block in there, then the wool block comes halfway out of the ground. It gives you that look that it's halfway out of the ground. And then you can use signs if you put a sign right here. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. Oop. If you put a sign right there, oops. And then if you put a picture frame on that sign, the picture will actually protrude from the sign and give you that, that chair look. And I honestly, I love this look. Uh, I definitely recommend using this for your houses. So, but this only works if your wall is right behind the chair, obviously. So, it does have its its downfalls. And then this one right here, I'll go ahead and show you. This is just a a stair. If you put a stair right here, or actually, I'll do it the other way so it's closer to the table. Put a stair right there. It just it's more like a little half log kind of look. It's not really for like a kitchen or an indoor home. It'd be more for like a fireplace if you wanted to have like a little log on the ground. But it's an option. And then over here you have this. So basically, if you don't have um, an area, a wall behind it to put the the sign, or yeah, to put the sign so that you can protrude a picture from, then what you can do is you you have your your wool block like I showed you. If you put a pressure plate down, and then you take the picture frame and you put it right on the back of that pressure plate, right like that. Oops, I don't want that one. Oh, there. Then what it'll do is it'll it'll actually work perfectly and this the picture will be the other way around so from the front it actually looks like a a wooden chair and from the back you can actually see the picture so it's like a reversed version of this and it works better because again your wall is not going to be always directly behind your chair so it, that would kind of screw you if you wanted to make a chair like this or you can do this way i'll go ahead and take it apart real quick so you can see you take a 
a stair, put it this way, and then put another stair the opposite direction. And you've got this uh, uh, chair looking idea that comes out of the ground like this. And I, I really like that. And then you can obviously add signs to both sides just to make it look oops, a little better, which is what I always do. So there you go. So there's these ideas. And then we're almost done. You can do the same thing. I already showed you how to do it, the pistons. But for this one, you do two blocks down from underneath the half slab and then put a redstone torch, put the piston there. And then instead of a piston coming up all the way off, a full block off the ground, it gives it the look that it's only coming off halfway off the ground, which is more of a seat look rather than a, a table look. Because if it's too high off the ground, it looks more like a table. So this is perfect. I love this idea. And then over here, um, this is actually a very clever idea. If you, I'll go and take it apart real quick. Basically, how signs work, if you put a sign on a block, it comes out of the center of the block. So if you just have a block sitting on the ground and you put a sign on top of it, it'll come out of the center of the block, it won't look right. But if you take uh, these stairs and you put a stair like this, and then you put another stair the opposite direction, it gives you the, the look that a block is coming out of the ground. And then if you put a sign on the back end of that block, it'll come out of the middle of the block, but it actually looks like it's coming out of the, the end of an actual regular size block. So it gives you this, this really cool stool or a seat with like a little wooden, very, I don't know, like a picnic-y looking chair that you would see outside probably rather than inside. But that, that's a really cool idea. And again, this, these ideas only work if you're using half slab floors. If you're using regular floors like this that I'm standing on, it's not gonna work. So if you like these ideas, you're gonna have to mess with your home and make sure that your your floors are made of half slabs. So that's one downfall to it. And then here we're back to the regular the regular flooring, no half slabs. And these are more of a stool look. So you I'm not gonna show you how to do the pit, the piston chairs, you've already seen them. But it comes off a full length off the ground, it's more of a stool. So for a bar look, yes, it would look good high off the ground. And then this one over here. Same thing, just a stool, but again, you put the picture frame on the end like this, which I've already shown you how to do. You put it right on the sign. And then if you put, I'll go ahead and show you, if you put a sign like that, it ends up going on the bottom right here. It kind of looks like a little footrest. So this is one of my favorite looking chairs too for bars. I love this look for like a, maybe if you have a kitchen bar in your house, love this look. And then the last two, we've got a fence post and a pressure plate very basic looking stool and then again fence post pressure plate but again if you don't have a wall directly behind it let's go ahead and get rid of this so you if you don't have a wall to put a sign on like this obviously how are you gonna do this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a sign right on the back like this so you click the back of the pressure plate so you have a sign floating like that and then you can take a picture frame put it on the sign and then voila there you go so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, couches and chairs series or part of the series. And then my next my next video will be of tables and desks. And then after that, I don't know what I'll be doing, but based on what you guys want, if you guys have any ideas for um, furniture ideas that you are looking forward to building, then just comment below on this video and I can probably get to those too. So thank you for watching and come back next time. Thank you.